If you're creating your own digital certificates, then you're probably managing a certificate authority yourself. And that's what I have here. I'm running my Windows Server 2008, and I've loaded on here the server role to provide Active Directory certificate services. So I have created an enterprise PKI that includes certificate templates and my own certificate authority that I have right here. Within the certificate authority, I can now manage and control the entire life cycle of all of the digital certificates I'm creating for this server. For instance, let's start with the certificates that I've issued. There's a way that the users can access this server and have requests made for certificates. Then I can go through this list and see what the uh, people are that have requested it. And if I assign or allow certain certificates to be created, they're put into this issued certificates database. And I can see, for instance, the certificates. This one happens to be for a certificate that has expired or is not yet valid. I have not validated this one. It was issued to Exchange. We can see the different details in what I have chosen here for the signature algorithms, the signature hashes, the serial number of this certificate, when it was valid from and to, the subject associated with it, and then the public key itself. So all of the things you would expect to find in any X509 certificate. As people are sending requests, they go into a pending request folder. Here's one that someone has sent in. This is a request that was made that is still sitting in the pending request. I'm the one that did make this request. And if I scroll all the way to the right, you can see this one was created to be a key recovery agent. We're going to talk about key recovery in another video. If there are certain requests that do not make it through the approval process, they may be put under the failed requests. And you can see that this one was one that I denied when it came through. So I would have an example of this to be able to show you. There are so many different kinds of certificates you might have when you deploy a CA. This is just an example of some of the certificate templates that come with the Windows certificate services. And you can see everything from the key recovery agent. You have an EFS recovery agent, a domain controller authentication. You've got web servers and computers and users and administrators. And there are many, many more certificate templates that you can add into this list. There are uh, huge lists of them that you can choose from to do everything like signing code, have a CA exchange, have IPsec certificates, router certificates, smart card logons, a lot of flexibility here. And depending on the type of CA that you have, the software that you're using, you might have even more types of certificates that you can build, and certainly different types depending on the operating systems that you happen to use in your environment.